we have already learnt articles and we know that an article gives more information about a noun by stating whether it is specific or general. Now, articles can be either indefinite or definite. A and are indefinite articles whereas the is a definite article. The doctor advised me to have an apple every day. Now in this sentence, the is a definite article and is an indefinite article. So this sentence has both definite as well as indefinite articles. But if I say apples are good for health, then in this sentence there is no article so this is an example of a sentence with zero article. So what do we see? We see that articles can be omitted before plural nouns, apples in this case, used in the common sense. Man is an intelligent being. So we see that we have used no article before the noun man. So we see that Articles can also be omitted before a common noun used in the common sense. There are towels in the cupboard. Now here we have used the with the noun cupboard but we have used no article before the noun towels. So here this part of the sentence before the towels is a case of zero article. So what do we see? That articles can be omitted with plural nouns. Here towels is a plural noun. So we have not used any article before it. Cats are beautiful creatures. Now this is another example of a sentence with a zero article. Cats, creatures, are both used here without any article. So we see that articles can be omitted when generally referring to plural members of a class. Both cats and creatures are plural members of a class. Milk is a health drink for children. Now in this example what do we see? We have used article with the health drink but we have not used any article before the noun milk so we see that articles can be omitted with uncountable nouns we have already learned that we can omit articles with plural nouns see here we have not used any article before children which is a plural noun dan is going for a trip to Paris. Now in this sentence, Dan, Paris are proper nouns and we have not used any article before Dan or Paris. So we can say that articles can be omitted with proper nouns. They speak Spanish fluently. So we see that before the name of the language Spanish in this case, we have not used any article. So articles can be omitted before names of languages. But remember, if we are referring to a particular language, then we have to use an article. For example, if we were to say the Spanish that they speak at home is very different, then we are referring to a particular language. Hence, we have used the definite article, the that is cooking dinner. So here we have not used any article before that which is a common noun and before dinner. So we see that articles can be omitted before names of meals. Remember again if we have to refer to a particular dinner then we have to use an article. So when we are referring to nouns in the general sense we may not use the articles.
Platinum is a precious metal. So we see no article has been used before the name of the metal platinum. So articles can be omitted before material nouns. Love is blind. Now love is an abstract noun and we see that we have not used any article before the abstract noun. So articles can be omitted before abstract nouns also. But if we were to say the love that she showered on us was incomparable, then we are referring to the abstract noun by specifying it, the love that she showered on us. So remember, generally if you are referring to an abstract noun, then you can omit the article. But if you are specifying the abstract idea, then you need to use an article. Both the husband and the wife were safe. Now we can also say both husband and wife were safe. So we see that articles can be omitted before common nouns used in pairs. He is at school. So here we have used a preposition before the noun. So articles can be omitted in certain phrases of preposition used along with nouns. Now let us quickly do this exercise. Fill in the blanks with appropriate articles if necessary. Dash refugees continue to stay and suffer without dash water. The options given to us are the or a. So dash refugees continue to stay. Now here we are referring to a particular set of refugees. So we are referring to a specific noun. Hence we have to use the article the which is a definite article. So we have the refugees continue to stay and suffer without dash water. Now we have already learned that we can omit articles before uncountable nouns. Water here is an uncountable noun. So we will not write any article before it. So our sentence will be, the refugees continue to stay and suffer without water. What about this sentence? She was returning from dash school when I met her. So we have preposition here from used along with the noun school and we know that we can omit articles in certain phrases where the preposition is used along with a noun. So if we say she was returning from school when I met her, the sentence would be perfectly correct. Hence, we do not need any article in this sentence. So what did we learn today? So today we have learned about various cases where we can omit articles before nouns. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.